Welcome to video two of our Evil Clutches tutorials. You can see here the knowledge we have developed so far in the tutorial series. In our last video, we looked at creating projects. In this tutorial, we are going to create the Mother Dragon object. Thus far, we have not completed any of the specifications that have been asked of us for this project. In this video, we're going to be shown how to make the mother dragon object and how to make it move up and down. Before we start, a little bit of theory. Game Maker Studio 2 is an object oriented programming language. This means that the games are developed using distinct programming parcels called objects. Now, objects can represent many things like player characters, enemies and high score tables. Every object has properties, for example, name, sprite, and an important category, which is called event handlers. Now, event handlers wait for a particular event to happen, like the press of a key or a collision. When that event occurs, they execute some code called an action. In this tutorial, you'll create a mother dragon object with two event handlers, one for when the W key is pressed, and another for when the S key is pressed. We are in Game Maker. I've opened up our Evil Clutches project, and this is the Game Maker Studio workplace. Um, yours might look a bit different. You might have these docks up around the side of the screen. Um, you can increase and decrease those when you want by hitting the little buttons on the side there, or pressing F. 12 on your keyboard will make them appear and disappear. So we're going to make the mother dragon object. To start doing that though, we're going to actually start by making a sprite. So we've got the assets to put into the object when we create it. So I'm going to right mouse click over here and go create sprite. And I'm now going to import the image from our evil clutches folder and the resources folder again which you've downloaded and extracted into here choose a dragon gift and go open yes i do want to do that i'm going to name the sprite and i'm going to begin to call all of our sprites we're going to start them with spr spr underscore dragon all right now we've got this annoying blue stuff here we don't want that so to be able to change that we need to go into edit image and I need to remove this color. Now there's a little button over here, color replace, uh, color removal tool. But if I do it now at the moment, it would just do this one frame. And we've got all these frames we have to do because it's actually animated. So I'm going to press here and hold shift down and click towards the end. And now if I apply the color remove tool, it will remove it for all the frames. Right, I'm going to close him. And then finally, I need to set the animation speed because at the moment it's not animating. So I'm going to set the speed just for a default of 24 because that's how many frames per second that our eyes can see at max. And if I press play, you can see that the mother dragon looks like she's flying. Well, kind of anyway. So that's the end of the sprite. I've made the sprite now. So I'm going to close you down. And the next thing is, I'm going to create the object. So I'm going to come down to here where it says objects. I'm going to right mouse click and go create object. And here over here we have the properties section. So first off, I'm going to name it. OBJ is how we're going to start all of our object names. Underscore, and this is the dragon object. All right, now I need to include a sprite in here. So I click down here and it'll give me a list of the sprites that are available. And then what we've made so far is dragon. So I'm going to choose dragon and assigning the sprite. Now, remember we're talking about event handlers. In here, this is how we do event handlers. So we're going to add an event. And the first event we're going to be interested in is called a key down event. So that actually registered when a key has been pressed down. Is being pressed down. So the key we want to do, this is for moving up, it's going to be the W key. So I'm going to come down here and choose letters and then scroll down to W. Right, I'm just going to hide this panel now. Now over here, we can see these are the actions that occur when the event of pressing down W happens. 
And what we want it to do is we want to set the dragon direction up because we want to press hold the W key, we want the dragon to move up. So I'm going to come down to movement, here it is, and we will need to set a direction fixed. So choose a particular fixed direction, drag that out here, and the direction we want it to go is up. And we also need to choose a speed. So this is set speed. So set speed is going to be a speed of 16. Rightio, so how you read this is the object, the dragon object, when the W key is pressed down, it will move up at the speed of 16. So that's our first event handler. Um, now our second event handler was they want to see the key down. Um, so when you press S, it actually moves down, so we will add another key down event. So key down, and we want to go letters, we are S, right here, and the same thing. We can use the recently added one, as opposed to going down and finding movement again. This will show you the last five um, actions that you've chosen. So set direction down, and again set direction, the direction, speed of 16. Okay. Now, the last thing we're going to do is, at the moment, this will just keep moving up and down, um, irrespective of whether you let go of the key or not. So we want the actual dragon to stop when you're not pressing any key. So there's one last event we have to add in here. That's event, key down, of no key. So that the no key is down, and when no key is down, we simply set the speed to zero. Right. So, now we're going to test this, so you can see what it looks like. Um, so to do that, we are going to, we're going to add this to a room. So, if we go off to our resources over here, and if we go into our rooms, there's always one room which has been created, which is room zero. And all I'm going to do is take my object, my dragon object, and move it out here. And I'm going to press run which is the play button here or f5 and it's going to run it's just compiling it right now make sure it's in the middle of the screen so you can see it so pressing the w key pressing the s key and you can see when i let go the dragon stops so there we go that's our first object in the first lot of event handlers being put in now so far in our project we have now created a mother dragon and we can tick off the specifications for making our mother dragon move up and down using the W and S key. And in this tutorial today you would have learnt how to create sprites, how to create objects, how to add events, add instances and how to run a program. You would have learnt about the key event, um, the key down event and you would have learnt the actions of setting a set direction fixed and setting a speed. Also you would have understand the concepts of testing and naming conventions.